Hey there guys, Tyler Sons K, the Gaming Guy TLG, and welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercon. This is episode number 21, and let's take a look at the Road to Glory. First, I was going to do something else, but we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at the Road to Glory first and see what the rewards are. A lot of you may know, who, uh, a lot of my subscribers who play this game may know what the rewards are already, but in case you don't, Ultra Rare Ravishing Rick Rude, Epic Shawn Michaels, and I just gave that away too. Legendary Mark Henry. Survivor Triple H, WrestleMania Roman Reigns, and SummerSlam Alberto Del Rio. Now, I may go, um, it only depends on how good, like, the matchmaking is, because as I stated in the last Road to Glory, the matchmaking was horrible when you got up to cards like this. Depending on how much time I have over the next couple of days to complete these, and Depending on how the matchmaking is as far as plus threes and plus fives go, I should be around this area somewhere. I'm at least promising you guys to, uh, I'm promising you guys that I'm going to get Triple H, but I'm not completely sure on Roman Reigns or Alberto Del Rio. I see myself entering this zone within no time when the event starts tomorrow, but, um, as far as, uh, Getting to Alberto Del Rio and getting through him, uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. But then we have the ones that I don't really care about. Harden Devil, Elite Kofi Kingston, Ultimate Dolph Ziggler, and of course, for some reason, Bret Hart makes his return again in... Um, didn't Bret Hart have to... Hmm, I think the ring domination for him ended not too long ago, and now they're doing the Road to Glory, so. It's stupid they took out PCC, though, because PCC is gone. All you have now is Road uh, to Glory and ring domination. It's ridiculous. But, if we go over here and look at the ladder rewards, my next ladder reward comes up at 6,500 wins. And, as you can probably tell above, next to the game's play, we are at 6,499. So, after the next game, we will have another Survivor Diva. And no more legendaries will be left over as far as superstars go in my decks. Well, wild and ranked mode anyway. Bree will be going bye-bye, especially if it's a left arrow. Now, I got lucky yesterday on episode 20 with getting uh, Sasha Banks. Now, I want to try and get lucky again. I either want a female superstar with a left arrow... Or another Sasha Banks. It's another Sasha Banks would be my number one thing to get, which is highly unlikely. And then the second best thing to get is a left arrow Survivor Diva or female superstar, whatever. And then my third would be another right arrow. And then the worst would be an up or down arrow. So, but whatever it is, I'm just gonna have to add it in because it's a Survivor and it'll take me up further in Survivor Plus. Oh, um, by the way, uh, Enzo is doing pretty great. Most of his stats are at or near 4,200 right now, so that is freaking awesome. But anyway, we are moving on. God. This is hype, dude. Episode 20 and 21 have been a couple of the hypest ones. Hypest? Is that even a word? I don't know. Look it up in the dictionary. <laughs> Power speed. Hey now. Oh, and by the way, definitely go check out Biggie33's channel. I commented on his video yesterday prior to this video that I'm making right now. And, um... And, uh, he shouted me out on his channel and told me to, uh, told his people to come and check the channel out. So, I am returning the favor back to him. I am telling all of my viewers to go and check out uh, Biggie33's channel. Just type in BiggieDude33 in the search box. Bailey! So we replaced a legendary Bailey with a survivor. Bailey. <laughs> what the nuts? Looks like Bailey won't be leaving our uh, deck anytime soon. She's like, oh, you ain't replacing me with another diva. You're you're leaving me in there. <laughs> Oh, what the nuts. 
Bailey got mad because I replaced her with Sasha Banks last night, so she's gotten her revenge by not only being a down arrow for one thing, which is really unfortunate, but she's going to go ahead and replace Brie Bella, unfortunately. Like I said, Legendary Bailey said, Oh, you ain't taking me out without a fight, so she decided to come back and rebel with the freaking survivor <laughs> version of herself. <laughs> Bailey hates us now. The end. <laughs> 19 out of 20. Jesus. Okay, so we're going to go to enhancements and hopefully fill up the rest of the level bar with enhancements. Eh, move over here. Yeah, this should work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, it did. That was easier than the other ones I leveled up. But I'm going to have to start unlocking more of my big cards for the even bigger cards that I'm probably going to be unlocking during Road to Glory over the next couple of days. So, yeah. The tokens are definitely heading on to her, um... And they're definitely heading on to her power and toughness, because her power and toughness sucks. Alright, all her stats are over 1,100. Eh, didn't go far with her, but hey. We no longer have any legendaries, as far as superstars go, in the deck. Freaking awesome. So let's play a couple of games and uh, end off the episode, but first... Always remember, I gotta uh, to put your best cards in your ranked mode deck because everyone knows now that for the past few weeks, all of the um, all the modes you play in, the cards you pick are based on your ranked mode deck right here. So anyway, uh, I got a King of the Ring currently in progress, and I just and I think I'm gonna get another clean sweep now. Let's take a look at how I ended up with a 15 and 7 record not my best performance so far, but Hopefully I'll at least get to the um, Contenders bracket again. I'm gonna be 16 and 7 in a minute, but anyway um, game one started off at like 8:30 last night, and uh, I won 3 to 2 White tail uh, he's the number one uh, seed right now, and I gave him his first loss by beating him three to two, which was astonishing when I found uh, found that out this morning. And then I uh, seemed like I was going on a streak beating Diesel three to two. Then I finally lost against Cletus two, but then went on a three game winning streak against Tyler Rand two thousand five, a Yush man, and John Cena. <laughs> and his name is John Cena. Then I went on a two-game losing streak with Steeler Wayne. I think that's the guy I just faced. And Steve St uh, or Steve Steiner or whatever. Steve Steiner. <laughs> Sorry if I butcher any of these names and you're somehow watching this. Then I went on a three-game winning streak up against Dustin Fritzler, Roman, and Angelo. And then I went on a two-game losing streak again against Red Baron and Luke. Then I won again against Rich. Then went again, uh, went on a two-game losing streak against the uh. Gerard, uh, Gerardo um, Macapinto and then Whitetail. Whitetail got his revenge. Then I went on. Uh, now I am on a uh, soon to be six game winning streak. Starting all the way back at game 18 against Diesel and continuing with Cletus 2, Tyler Rand 2005, a Yush Man, John Cena, Steeler Wayne, and. I don't know, Steve Snyder might be next, I don't know, but then I'm going to go on one heck of a winning streak all the way up until game 27, then I'm probably going to lose game 28, then game 29, I'm probably going to lose, so there's two in a row again right there, then I'm going to win game 30, probably lose the next two games, win game 33, possibly win game 34, because I have beaten Cletus 2 before, uh, then win game... 35 through 38 possibly 37 or 38 then lose game 39 then probably go on to win game 40 through 42 then lose the Red Baron and Luke and then hopefully finish it off with a win against Rich so sounds like we'll be getting way more wins and losses so now we're 16 and 7 another 5-0 shutout against Steeler Wayne Yep, that was that was expected right here. My guys are always boosted up, and some people just forget about their cards altogether and just freaking stop caring and 
stop energizing them. So it looks like Steeler Wayne probably isn't going to be in the standings uh, as far as the top eight is concerned much longer. He is down all the way at the bottom of number eight. I am closing in on, I'm trying to close in on number one, me and Red Baron. Whitetail, of course, is number one with a 23 record. Me and Red Baron and uh, Gerard, uh, Gerardo Megapinto are tied for second with a 16-7 record. Cletus 2 is in fifth with a 15-8 record. Steve uh, Steiner is in is tied with Luke with a 14-9 record in six, and of course the guy we just beat, Steeler Wayne, is just barely in the uh, uh, top eight with a 12-11 and 11 record. Then we have all of these guys down here. The worst record is 3-20. and 20. Some people still just don't care, and they don't, they just started King of the Ring for the heck of it, and, they, they, and then they don't pay attention to it or something happens, and then they get like, like no reward whatsoever. But speaking of rewards, let's go ahead and look at King of the Ring rewards. Um, just making it to the quarterfinals now gets a legendary card. So I'm hoping if I even lose in the quarterfinals, the legendary card I get will finally be a pro. Because with all the legendary cards I have now, I have a pretty solid chance of getting a freaking legendary pro. That's the only way a legendary can make it back into the deck now, is if it's a pro. Say I got... Uh, the legendary Bailey, the legendary Bailey would be put back in the deck, or say I got one of my other legendaries that I had in the deck, like The Rock, before I put in all my Survivors of uh SummerSlam cards. They would end up replacing the Survivor cards in the deck and stay in there until I got, say, a Survivor Pro or something, which is not very likely right now because I only have, like, two or three Survivor cards. So... Hopefully, we can get a pro out of that, whether it be a legendary or a survivor, but I'm making it to the contender's bracket guaranteed. So, we'll play a couple wild mode games and see uh, what happens now that we got two survivor divas instead of a legendary diva, because my legendary Bailey, or legendary Bailey, uh, legendary Brie Bella was getting rocked by a bunch of other uh, survivor cards. But since Bailey has just now entered our deck and she, her stats were closer to 1100, Instead of 1,200 like uh, Sasha over here, she may still get beat a lot. That's how you do it. This Charlotte card has been the bane of my existence in the Survivor Divas. Or, uh, being all superstars. I don't care. I I'll call it whatever the heck I want. But this, this Enzo has been kicking some major butt, dude. It has been the key of me getting a lot of the 3 0 wins I've been getting recently. Speaking of 3 0 wins, there's one right there. Now, as you know, I recorded another Supercard Short. I think it was like Supercard Short number 6 of me pulling a Survivor Seth Rollins. If I pull another Survivor on camera, that would just be beast, but I don't see that happening. I seriously don't see that happening, but you never know. I played like... Um, probably like 50 or so games since this morning, and there's like a certain point now since they updated the game and made the board... Uh, made the board look better. There's like a cer uh, there's like a very low uh, number of game in Survivor Plus and especially Survivor Double Plus when you get a random Survivor card off the board. So you never know, guys. Surprises do happen. Kind of like the ones you see in the Super Card Shorts most of the time. Ugh, too bad I can't use good old Bailey yet. God, there's Baileys everywhere. Uh, speaking of Bailey, but there are Baileys everywhere. You saw that. There was an epic Bailey, a legendary Bailey, and my survivor Bailey. And I've seen a freaking ultra rare Bailey. So, like, it's Baileyception. Hashtag Bailey is everywhere. <laughs> This deck is getting good, though. I'd say... Mm, if we get another SummerSlam, if we get to the SummerSlam Alberto Del Rio, then there's a chance we could enter Survivor Double Plus. But if we just get the Roman Reigns, he probably won't even end up in my wild or ranked mode decks. So... I'm gonna have to really try for that SummerSlam card, but it only depends on how the matchmaking is. That's the only bad thing about it. The matchmaking gets so bad sometimes when you reach things like Roman Reigns in um, Ro uh, Road to Glory that you end up running into people with Elite and Ultimate cards even though you're in tiers like mine. 
So, to me, that was pretty freaking stupid. So hopefully they improve the matchmaking or something, but uh, I'm not completely sure on that. I know I can basically blast through the Ultra Rare, Epic, and Legendary card. It's a Survivor card when the opponents start getting a little bit harder, and then it's the WrestleMania cards and the SummerSlam cards and uh, where I am, where things just get absolutely insane for plus threes and plus fives. Like I said, you run into freaking Elite and Ultimate Pros and all that stuff. Uh, when you're in tiers like mine, so that's just basically really unfair matchmaking. Well, as far as I know, anyway. Yeah, get out of here. So, what are you guys doing as Christmas is coming up? Because Christmas is on Sunday and today's Wednesday. There's about three days, three or four days until Christmas. Let me know um, if you can in time. Let me know what you're doing or what you did for Christmas in the description below. Because you may leave a comment either before or after Christmas. So, yeah. Or if you watch this video closer to New Year's, you can always leave me a comment on what you did for New Year's. So, yeah. <laughs> Baileyception everywhere. Bailey, 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 Bailey. Bailey here, Bailey there, Bailey everywhere. Make it stop. Okay. <laughs> I kind of get, um, like, Bailey is my main uh, female superstar that I get. Like, Biggie Dude's main female superstar that he gets is Natalia. <laughs> hey well, that was random. Okay, then. I'm pretty sure I'm coming up on another survivor pool because I have gotten a lot of board clear since I pulled Seth Rollins this morning. <laughs> Freaking Seth Rollins? Why did I say Seth Rollins? He was the legendary card I pulled. I meant, uh, I think it was Shawn Michaels? I think it was Shawn Michaels. Mm, let's see if I'm correct. Yes, it was Shawn Michaels. Okay, I'm right, I'm right. Uh, yeah, I'm right. Shawn Michaels. Had a brain fart there, but okay. Alright, moving on. Too bad he didn't make it into the deck, but... Uh... He kind of almost matches, um... Ben Balor already in stats, though, which is kind of impressive, in my opinion. Once I play enough games with him in the other game modes, he'll probably, uh, end up being a pretty good survivor and may actually make it into the tier for a minute. I mean a minute because my tier is upgrading so freaking fast that's how, that's how long cards literally stay in. Because some of my legendaries only stayed in for... Uh, a couple of my legendary cards only stayed in for a couple of days and then they were booted back out because of these guys right here. These, uh, this bunch. Hold on, let me close this. <laughs> Shut up, Battery. I know you're getting low. But it's only 15% instead of 4% and I do not care. Percent? Why did I say it like that? I do not know. Okay, I'm gonna keep playing until I get the next board clear, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end off the episode. Um, of course, as we all know, in the next episode, I'll probably be in uh, Road to Glory grinding out for one of the higher cards, because I'll just, like... Uh, zoom past the first few cards like the ultra rare epic and legendary I'll just zoom through because the opponents are that freaking easy in that tier like when you get into those cards in this tier that I'm in it's easy to zoom past those cards but once I get to the survivor Wrestlemania especially SummerSlam card if I can then things are gonna start getting really hard to the point where I'll have to just grind out plus ones all day and hopefully hope for the best with the uh, with the uh um, pick, not pick doublers, uh, title matches. Brock, what are you doing down there? 
Stop looking at me like that. Actually, I think they're going to replace Brock Lesnar as the um, cover guy for WWE Supercard because rumors have stated that Brock Lesnar is heading back to the MMA, so he's more than likely going to be taken off as the cover guy for Supercard, and he's going to be replaced with someone else. So you may start seeing someone else in between games on that splash screen pretty soon. So just letting you all know ahead of time. But like I said, there are rumors. It's not. I don't know if it's been confirmed that Brock Lesnar is heading back to uh, to the MMA. I'm not completely sure yet. I might have to check that out between episodes and let you guys know, so. Yeah, it's probably going to take a while for me to get the board clear, so I'm going to be here rambling on a while. I'm going to be thinking of things to say. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna start rambling on about him for about two seconds, and then I'm just gonna get quiet again, like this. Oh boy. Hey now. That's how you do it. Oh, oh, well, that's nice. Oh, okay then. I love how I, uh, like, they start out with the two Divas matches, and I win both of those. And I just bring out Enzo on the last one because I know I won anyway and just get a 3-0 win. Which is always beneficial. Especially when you're looking to get energy cards in King of the Ring. You want every win possible. But I'm maxed out as far as energy cards are concerned right now in King of the Ring. So I don't need to worry about that. Watch, I'm just going to like reach the card limit or the enhancement limit or something before I get my freaking board full. <laughs> Or watch it be like the last card or something and this be like a 20 to 25 minute episode because I wanted to finish this video off by getting my next board pool, like my board clear and it's like down to the last card or I end up with the card limit taking longer or something, I don't know. I just think it's going to be a very, uh, I just think it's going to be a little while before I get my next board clear or not, I don't know. These survivors don't scare me anymore. I got WrestleManias and SummerSlams in my deck full. Although SummerSlams like Enzo up there do scare me a bit when it's not mine. <laughs> I have beaten, um, basically, as the, over the past 12 hours or so since people were able to get Enzo, over time, as the hours have gone on, I have noticed way more people with Enzo than last night. Because I was only running into, like, a couple of Enzos last night. But today, I swear to God, like, over half the people I have faced today trying to get the 6,500 games have had Enzo in some sh uh, way, shape, or form. Some have been maxed out. Some have been uh, imperfect, not maxed out yet. I all I know is I've just been running into a crap ton of Enzos. But mine are just as good as any of theirs. I have actually beaten a couple Enzos on a rare, rare occasion, but that's only because they're like level 5 or level 10 or something and are below like my WrestleMania or Survivor cards. Or just WrestleMania cards, I mean. Can't go below Survivor cards. But, uh... I was totally wrong about the SummerSlam card, what it ma maxes out as. I think I said it maxes out at what a WrestleMania maxed out pro would be, a maxed out perfect pro, but I was completely wrong. It's probably in the lines between a perfect Survivor pro and a non-maxed out perfect WrestleMania pro. And, guess what, guys? My two-year anniversary is basically on the way. Because if I look at my phone next to me right now, today is December 21st. So, tomorrow will be my two-year anniversary on YouTube. And I'm really looking forward to doing a couple of special videos. Not only f thanking you guys, uh, the subscribers, for being there for me since day one. But to also reminisce in some memories. Some good times in my Let's Plays and reaction videos and all that stuff. But I don't know what they're going to be yet at this point. 
Plus, I wouldn't tell you guys anyway. That would spoil the surprise in the first place. But, there are going to be very special videos for my two-year anniversary. I'm really excited about it, and they will be posted either tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow night at some point. So, stick around for that, along with the Supercard episodes. So, tomorrow's going to be a busy day for TWG, not only with its two-year anniversary on YouTube, but also with, um, with doing the WWE Supercard Road to Glory grind and, uh, the, uh, WWE Supercard Road to Glory videos and all that stuff. It's just going to be a busy day for me tomorrow. But, anyway, I've also got family up here, and they usually, like, coming up to my house every day, so that's why I said the videos may not be up until sometime tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening at some point. So, yeah. Come on, I just want to get my board clear and get out of here before this video gets too long. <laughs> they ended up being like 20 to 25 minutes anyway. Oh jeez, let's just go over to Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble is where I usually get my best luck anyway. Where do you think I got Shawn Michaels from this morning? <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go ahead and play some Royal Rumble. That way we could just end it with this right here and finally get the board clear and end off the episode. So I can prepare for my two-year anniversary tomorrow. Get ready for the special videos along with my um, Supercard videos and the grind for Road to Glory and all that stuff. And if I had to choose between Raw and SmackDown this week, I would say probably uh, pretty hard this week. Pretty hard. Um, I would say that um, SmackDown was the better of the two, in my opinion, because I know Enzo, like... It was a highlight on uh, Monday night when Enzo had to go to sensitivity training and all that stuff. And uh, he got the crap beat out of him by Rusev and Jinder Mahal, I think it was, at the end, uh, like near the end of the show. But um, SmackDown had to be better uh, this week because I think one of the main highlights of SmackDown this week was Natalia calling uh, Nikki Bella the B word right on TV and they didn't censor it or nothing. I love that. Reminds me of the Attitude Era all over again. But, um... <clears throat> Losing my voice here or something, I don't know. It reminds me of the Attitude Era in such a way. Plus, I think... Uh, no, 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 no. I was gonna say Jericho and Kevin Owens with Jericho being locked in that shark cage or whatever it was. But that, that wasn't on SmackDown. That was on Raw. But my main highlight for this week between Raw and SmackDown was when Natalia called Nikki Bella the B-word right on live TV, and they didn't censor it out or nothing like usual. So that was pretty freaking hilarious. See, what happened was, I think uh, Carmella, uh, I think, um, I think Natalia was keeping a secret from Nikki Bella about uh, attacking her not too long uh, before uh, last night. And, uh, Carmella came out and I guess, uh, spilled the beans about the whole entire thing and just basically sparked a rivalry, uh, which I think is gonna go on a while between, um, Nikki Bella and Natalia. so, yeah. And we got, we got seven straight wins, seven or eight straight wins with, uh, Enzo, so, there's really no way we're gonna lose. Yeah, there's no way. Is there? Could be a possibility. Uh, I'm gonna save, uh, I'm gonna save him for last. And we lost! We lost! We freaking lost! Are you kidding me? And we don't even have enough picks to clear the board now. So we may end up having to stay here even longer. Hey Never mind. I was about to say, we may end up having to stay here even longer just to freaking clear the board. But luckily, that decided to pop up. That's super rare. 
So thanks guys for now actually finally ending off this video. But anyway guys, this is Connor Sucks okay, the game guy TWG. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, buy the game, play the game, beat the game, follow me on Twitter and Google Plus. Join the TWG army by subscribing here on YouTube, or like I just said, follow me on Twitter and Google Plus. Get ready for my two year anniversary videos tomorrow. And uh yeah, that's basically it. In the next episode of WWE Supercard, we will be in the middle of the grind to try and at least get to the WrestleMania Roman Reigns in Road to Glory. Alright guys, peace.